Ladies and gents, tackle junkies, what's going on? Getting a late start today. There's why. <laughs> the old lady had a few things to do around the house, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> we didn't leave to about, I don't know, 11.30. So, before we get this day rolling, we're gonna check volts. Now, the number on the screen right now is after the first charge. The next number you're going to see is after five hours of fishing. And this number right here is going to be after another five hours of fishing. So I got about 10 hours on these batteries. Just turn around here. Go to uh, DC. Vanna. Hey, Vanna. You want to hold this volt? Uh, Vanna. <laughs> hold this volt, volt meter here so the viewers can see. Okay, we're sitting at uh, 13... Two nine. That's after 10 hours of fishing. Only charged them the one time so far. So we're just going to keep doing this to see how many days and hours we can get out of these batteries before the next charge. All right, Vanna, you ready to get this day going? I've been watching them jump. I mean, I'm ready for a little lunch, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, you took a little longer time <laughs> to uh, rig us up. Oh. Well, I mean, I had to rig all your stuff up. Yeah. Had to rig all your stuff up because you don't have to tie a knot. That's why I have you. All right, we got something here. I don't think he's that big. I think he's foul hooked. But we need anything we can catch. No, he's foul hooked, like I said, not even a bass. We're <laughs> like, what the heck just happened? That's not what I'm talking about. These guys will get you too. I hate dealing with these little things. Green sunfish. I'll put it right in your finger. You got one? Well, no, I had one. All right, way to Maybe lose it. I had a green little sunfish. Way to lose it, baby. Way to lose it. You're welcome. Stop. See, that's my new thing will get you. Oh, get off there. There we go. All right. A green sunfish, bomber square A, not exactly what we're looking for though. What we got back there, babe? Is that another loop-de-loop? -loop? Loop -loop. Loop Do we have another loop-de-loop? Loop-de-loop. -loop. Can't play with it, baby. Manhandle it. I did manhandle it, it's naughty. Oh man, oh man. Give it back to the manhandler. Give it back to the manhandler. You just like making an appearance on YouTube. It's the only way you can figure out how to do it. It is. Just oh yeah, you didn't manhandle it. I just you manhandle it. You didn't. Baby, this is Seaguar. You can manhandle the Seaguar. You ain't gonna break it. It's tough. Oh, that's a good one. This is a good old loop-de-loop -loop right here. You know, I just wanted to test Seaguar. Oh, baby. Just, yeah, strong. I've been testing it for years. I guess you don't pay attention to my videos. You don't need to test it. You can fish. Does a drum count? You actually caught that one. In the mouth. Yeah. Huh? Look at that one. Appreciate the assistance. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He ain't a big one, but he's finally the right species. All right. All right. Bass in the boat, Yates. I'll take it. All right, finally, not a big one, but, it's bass. but a bass in the boat. What do you think, babe? Nice. That's one. That's one. We wanted six. That's one. Yep. 
Five more dummies, let's go. That's how many, what, three hours in? Three hours in, five more dummies. Bomber, square A. I had red craw on, but there's so many shad up shallow right now. I said, you know what? You want shad, I'll give you shad. Now eat it. And only one was dumb enough to eat. Only one was dumb enough to do it so far. We're going for two. Here we go. Uh, this could be a better fish. Now he ain't that big, but I don't know if he's hooked all that well. There we go, there we go. Take that. That's two, baby. There you go. Number two. All right. Probably close to a keeper. He's got a bloody lip. He's got a little sore on his tail, too. All right, buddy, we'll let you go. Thanks for playing. Number two. Uh, I doubt this is a bass. It's been, whoa, whoa. That? I doubt it's a bass. It's either a huge catfish. It? I, it's probably a big carp. Where is it? I think he's stuck on the motor or something. No. Jet, I gotta come back there. He's stuck on something. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's one of them little. Uh... Striper? Is that a striper? I don't know if that's a striper or if it's like a hybrid. Is that a little striper? No, nope, it is a yellow bass. Or yellow bass. Is it yellow bass? Yep. Yeah, they're fighters. I'll take that. Oh yeah, he'll get you too. Another one on the bomber. So we've had a uh, a couple bass, green sunfish, and a yellow. A yellow bass. Yellow bass. There we go. That's something good there. I will. This is big, whatever this is. Oh, did he come off? No, he's still on. I don't know what it is. It's big. Hey, that's a largemouth. I don't know what it is. I can't tell what it is. It's strong, I'll tell you that. Where is it at? It's right here. It's coming up. I'll bring it to you. Oh, it's another one of those things. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a, big. That's a huge one there. Look at him. Ooh, ooh. A war eagle spinnerbait there. That's way too big for yellow bass. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Where, how much do you think that one weighs? I bet he ain't three and a half, four pounds. I think he's going to be all wild. I can try and weigh him, but that's on the war eagle spinnerbait. I bet he's easy, four pounds. I think we got a bass. He's still on there. He ain't very big, but. Okay. Yeah, I'll bass. take him. I'll take him. All right, keeper. And we got the length here. Got you right in the roof of the mouth there. The old bomber. Doing work. No, he's much smaller than I thought, but. Hey, I'll take it. It's a bass. I don't know, maybe 12, 13 incher, pound and a quarter or so. He's a fighter. Yeah. I'll take that. See them shag go? Bunch of them. I guess we spooked them. Oh! <laughs> you did. See, that's one of the other ones. <laughs> so the bunch probably in here then.
These are always schooled up. That's how wild they are. No, no, no. I didn't think that was going to end well. <laughs> with it. Toss him. Got one? Good? Oh, set the hook. I thought I did. Man. If you have to think about it, you thought you did, you just said hook. I felt him grab it. Dang, woman. You could have three fish. I can only put you on them, baby. I can't hook them for you. <laughs> I can only put you on them. I can't hook them for you. She could have had at least three today. If you, if you take out all the nap time, I mean, you could have had maybe a dozen. The nap time was pretty nice. I dreamt of that. Did you? There you go. It's a win-win then. Look at that cast, man. Maybe a professional taught you. I'm a pretty good teacher. Pretty good it's teacher? All right. All right. So you got some videos on YouTube? Yeah, he may have a few. A few tackle junkies hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i know it wasn't like an action-packed video one of you guys even <laughs> said that on my last video i think uh you'd rather watch paint dry i mean it's been tough it's been a tough bite here for the last month or so uh weather's been going crazy yeah we went for like a hundred something degrees i think tuesday High is going to be 69, a lot more rain coming in. I mean, we've had a ton of rain. A ton of rain, it, even the flood in St. Louis. Yeah. Not that long ago. Nope. Yeah, it's, just, it's been a crazy last month or so. And like I said, it's, at least for me, it's really affected the bite. I mean, I, we can barely catch them at the ponds. As you've seen today, I mean, we didn't really jack them. We caught a good amount of fish, yeah. but it's not like it was like a stellar day. I mean, our biggest fish um we weren't even fishing for <laughs> which was cool and i believe it was a striper let me let me know if you guys know what it was i asked you guys before when i was catching some fish that looked like that but they were much smaller and they were yellow i think you guys were saying they were yellow bass and i do believe there's striper in here and both of those i believe were bigger than i think what a yellow bass would get so i believe both of those were stripers they have yellow bellies yeah and the thing i noticed too about the yellow bass Half the time they're not in the mouth. They're just slapping at it and they're going crazy and all that. These, I'm going to say they're striper. They were they were hooked in the mouth, so they actually went for uh, the spinner bait and the crankbait. So I'm assuming they are stripers. Let me know down below. But I've been getting out. Just haven't put out a lot of fishing videos because, like I said, I'm not really catching them. Today is Monday. I was out on Friday, and I'll put a little clip in uh, right now of what I caught on Friday. Caught a handful. Nothing to brag about, nothing really to make a video with. My biggest was like what you're seeing right now was like, I don't know, two and a half pounds. But uh, it's been pretty tough. That one was on the um, the Yum Wooly Hog Craw. Yum Wooly Hog Craw. I had that rigged up today as well. No takers on that. She was throwing a plastic as well today. She was throwing the Yum Magnum Finesse Worm. She really didn't give it a, a good go because she was napping, but she majority of the day it's between day for napping. between napping and potty breaks there wasn't a whole lot of fishing um on her end but hey that's what she wanted to do she was relaxing so that's that's great but uh yeah as far as what i was using the other day like i said the uh the yum woolly haul crawl there that is a four out mustad grip pin that is a three eighths ounce mustad tungsten mustad peg there Went a little bit heavier on the weight just because I was trying to get through a bit of grass. But uh, helium, the Kistler helium rod here. This is a seven foot medium heavy fast. I do have a review on this rod, which I'll link down below using the Revo rocket. Loving this reel. This is a 10-1 super fast reel. And that is a 17 pound Seaguar Abrazex. I know you guys kind of like the gear talk in the video. So anyways, that's what I was using well today and then when I caught that that fish on Friday. But today, I guess it was mainly uh, for me a square bill and a spinner bait. Uh, yeah, you didn't catch anything. <laughs> uh, I had many bites. 
Thank you very she did, much. She did have... I'm pretty sure I had several bites just now. She did have a few bites on a... Look at that. I know. That's, I'm getting them all riled up. She's getting them riled up. She ain't catching them, but she's no, riling no. them up. No. But she's had a few on the spinnerbait. I don't, I don't know how you can... I mean, a spinnerbait... Show the viewers at home here. Spinnerbait, I mean, the hook is exposed. I don't know how you would not get them in the boat, babe. I don't know. It always like it's always uh -huh. feels like there's something on there. So it feels like there's something on there. <laughs> but then she comes in and, and it's it's not. It's not on there. I mean it's it's a mystery. It is it's a complete mystery. But yeah, she was tossing the uh that's the booyah. Booyah spinnerbait there, white. And we had a uh double willow there, gold and a chrome, three eighths on the booyah there. I do have a review on the loose KVD rod as well. Got the KVD reel on there, 15 pound Seaguar and Viz X. My spinnerbait combo today, I believe what I caught uh, one of the stripers, spinnerbait. Crankbait. Well, one, I think only one striper was on the spinnerbait. Yeah, and then the crankbait. I think everything else then was crankbait, right? I think so. Did you have a bite? You kind of got real serious there for a second. I was thinking. Thinking? I did catch a sunburn. She got a sunburn, that's right. A little sunburn. Okay, for my spinnerbait, I was using the War Eagle. That's a 3 8 War Eagle, double willow in chrome. I do have a video on how I choose spinnerbaits. I'll link down below. Definitely check it out. That is 15 pound Seaguar in Vizex. The rod is the Akuma All Purpose. Uh, it's the TCS rod, 6'9, medium heavy, mod fast. My go to rod for lighter weights with moving baits. It's an awesome moving bait rod. Single hook, I don't really use it for treble hooks. You could, it's soft, but it's not as soft as a cranking rod, but it's a great um, moving bait rod for single hooks. Like I said, I love it for underspins. Awesome spinner bait rod there. And the reel is the Revo Ike. I tell you what, this reel right here uh, has really made me a believer in the Abu reels. I never really used them before. I do have a handful of them now. Uh, the Ike was the first one that I used, and man, I do love it. Look for a review on this reel here soon. But uh, yeah, that's my combo there, and that is in the 6-6. Uh, so spinnerbait combo there, and I think everything else I caught, which was what, maybe three or four bass? What do you think? Was it three or four? 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 I guess she was asleep. She don't, five. She don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it definitely was not five. I yes, think it was because you caught the two bigger striper ones. That ain't a bass? striper bass okay i think three to four largemouth bass we did uh three snag huh it was three three okay three largemouth bass we did catch uh, or snag really a green sunfish yeah, a drum a striper anything else two stripers and a yellow bass you caught that little oh and i did yellow. catch uh a yellow bass. No, the other striper was on spinnerbait. Anyways, the rest of the fish, well, the rest of the fish uh, came on the square bill. You guys know the Bomber Square A, one of my go-to square bills here. I mean, for four bucks or whatever it is, four or five bucks, I don't believe uh, you're gonna beat this bait here. And uh, if I didn't tell you guys already, code TJ81 will save you guys 15% off over there at LureNet. Every bait that I've talked about um, in today's video, you guys can pick up over there at LureNet, use that code, save a few bucks. But the Bomber Square A has been in my arsenal for years. Absolutely love uh, this square bill here. I do a few modifications to it. I do have a video on that, which I'll link down below. But yeah, Bomber Square A there. I believe that color is called Oxbow. And I just downsize the split rings to a size two. I uh, take off the, or the round split ring I guess the line tie split ring, and I make that an oval, and that is a size two Bass Pro Shops. I think it's called the XBS series. Uh, we've talked about this before. We have a video on that as well. It may vary depending on brand. I believe if you're going to go with owner, you may want to go with size three, but the Bass Pro, I go with size two. But these are size two owner round split rings. And again, that is a size two Bass Pro Shops oval split ring. Those are size six, mustad, um, short shank, treble hooks there, the KVD short shanks, size six. 
and if I did not downsize that split ring, the size six would tangle. I believe it comes with a three. I put on a two to upsize the hooks there. Love those, must add. Short shanks. All right, and then we are running. That is 15 pound Seaguar and Vizex. This is the Akuma Guide Select Cranking Rod. It's a medium power, of course, with that moderate action. It's a cranking rod. Love this rod as well. Very comfortable in hand, lightweight. Very, very nice rod here. And the reel, I tell you what, I was wrong about this reel. Me and Debo kind of went back and forth. I was loving the Elite. He was loving the Zillion. But I've had the Zillion in my hand for quite a bit this season. And I gotta, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm really loving this reel. I mean, I've always liked it, but <laughs> I've always liked it, but I loved the Elite more. But like I said, the more that I fish with this, this zillion here, man, I sure do love it. Like I said, I'm running 15 pounds, Seaguar, and Vizex on there. But guys, that's basically what we were fishing today. Like I said, it was not an action-packed day. It's been, it's been tough. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to head over there to LureNet, use my code, and save a few bucks. Love you guys and gals. That was a carp. Okay, I don't want that. Seen that plain as day carp. It was like orange. <laughs> Love you guys and gals. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. We will see you guys on the next one. Snag. Snag. And we're out with a snag. Definitely not a fish. Definitely not a fish. <laughs> I'm going to see how long she plays with it for. <laughs> we're out.